guys, it's Mandy. Hey, I'm John. And it is about time that I open up some Monster Highs on my channel. I don't know how we've never opened Monster Highs on our channel before. I am a huge Monster High fan. I have lots of Monster Highs, like three shelves worth of Monster Highs. But somehow, it just hasn't happened. So, I saw these and I got kind of excited because I didn't start collecting Monster Highs until probably about three years ago. Probably. And, um... Maybe a little less than three years ago, like close to three years. So I missed the first few waves of Monster High figures. Well, it seems that they are re-releasing certain ones. Like this is the Dead Tired collection, which I believe uh, came out like one of the first waves of Monster Highs a long time ago, along with uh, like uh, what's it called Gloom Beach, something like that. That's being re-released too, it seems. I don't know. These are, I mean, I know that they're new. So, I don't know. If you know, comment below. I tried to look it up online. Couldn't figure it out. But I'm almost positive these were out once before and now they're back. So, I have Frankie Stein and Jackie Lara today. Look how cute the back of the boxes are on these. Just giant box art, which is adorable. Um, Chloe Denial also comes in this collection. But I did not get her. I just got these two girls. So... Uh, Dracula is right there, so we'll go ahead and open her because Dracula was the first Monster High doll I ever got, which was a gift from John. I always loved them. Uh, Monster High dolls. Oops, hey -o. I always loved Monster High dolls, but I don't know. I didn't really uh, start collecting toys and stuff until I got with um, John. Um, before I met John, I was with somebody who didn't really appreciate the fact that I enjoyed children's things like toys, so I wasn't really allowed to get them or encouraged to get them. But... Which is ridiculous. <laughs> Which it is. No matter what your age is, you should always just get what you like. You know, don't ever let anybody tell you what you can or can't like. So he was like, oh, okay, well, you like these Monster High dolls, I can tell, so I'm going to get them for you. So Draculaura was my very first one. So, um, she has a special place in my heart, so I could not wait to get her. Look how cute her pigtails are. So, the one thing I don't like about Monster Highs is how crazy they're packaged. Like. And they always put those weird I hate things these inside of their head. hand <laughs> things. And the head things, and ugh, okay. Those slippers are kind of cool that she has with the little oh, I know. back faces. And I love the how they're like high things. heels. Yeah, these head things they do for dolls drive me yeah, there's insane. a couple of different types of dolls that have that, too. Most of them do now. Although her hair is in a good position for oh. getting them out of the Oh, no, I cut a little bit of her hair. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, Dracula. <laughs> it happens. That's one of the big downfalls to packaging dolls like that. So she's almost out. Okay, she's free. Do you want to get out her accessories real quick for sure. me? Okay. So let's take a look at her. She's got her gorgeous pink and black hair here that I have cut some off of in the back. But that's okay because her hair is going to stay out. Look at her pigtails. They're like straight up and they're very perky. And she has this cute little um, sleep mask that's attached to her head. But I'm going to unattach it here. That, you know, she can wear to bed. And she has a little heart there. Put this back on top of her head for now. Um, She has her pink makeup and her little fangs are out. Her bangs are just, you know, down and classy. Thank you. Huh? She's wearing a pink polka dotted um, pajamas that have like a cute little top. Button those in the back. And like little capris. She doesn't come wearing her shoes, but they do come with shoes. There's little ruffles. Oh, she still has one of these stupid things. Okay. Yeah, this is funny. It comes with, uh, it's, it's uh, a DVD. That says uh, scary human movies instead of scary oh, that's monster so movies. Cute. And then it opens and there's actually two little Aww, DVDs in there. How cute. Because yeah. it's like a slumber party. And then it looks like they actually come out. Oh wow, look at that. So Oops. they actually have... Uh, this is kind of a nice little detail. That no, is cute. Neat. I love Monster Hunter. So, that's a cool accessory for you to have. Definitely. I know sometimes sometimes she doesn't like to keep the accessories. It depends on what it is. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That's a cool one. I don't normally keep purses and things like that. I don't know why. Just because I don't play with them. I just display them. I mean, we don't really toss them. We just have to, like yeah. a kind of a drawer that we have all kinds of Monster High uh, uh, stuff in. 
So let me see if I can get these shoes on. Is this the wrong foot? Maybe. Um, Looks like because her toes are kind of in a weird... They are, but why position. would they include shoes if she couldn't wear them? I don't understand. Somebody help. Okay, so this one... Let's see, this would definitely go on this foot. Do you guys have these? Do their shoes actually go on? I would think... Okay, so there's one shoe. They take some work, so if you've got littles that you're buying these for, you might have to help them unless I'm just not good at this game. Sorry, guys. Okay. So, after struggling, there's her cute shoes. They look like puffy little slippers, but they're heels. And she's fabulous. Do all of the Draculars have the heart on their face, or is that just this one? Um, I think, I don't know if all of them do. Um, she's definitely not the only one, though. Alright, so she can hang out back here with her little scary movie. And let's get into Frankie. So, Frankie was the second Monster High doll I got. And she was the one, um... The electric one? Yep. Yeah. You push her stomach and she lights up from one of the movies. <clears throat> and it's a... Out of all of the ones you have, I think the Frankie ones are the, my favorite ones. You like Frankie the best? Mm -hmm. And on the back, I didn't read it. It says, pop the popcorn, put on your pajamas, and get ready to fang out with your ghoul friends. This scary, cool creepover will be anything but a snooze. So... Let's free her here from her little chamber. Alright, let's see if I can do this without cutting her hair. Almost impossible. Almost. Almost. Okay. And she's got some accessories. And clip her out of this. And here. And pop her silly little head thing off. Do you want to get her shoes out for me? Sure. Thanks. Alright. I don't know why but her, some parts of her hair I don't know if you can see if that'll focus or not. Probably not. Come on. It's like crusty? I don't know. I don't know what that's about. But she's got like a side ponytail and oh man there's more of this stupid plastic on her. Again, she does not come with her shoes on, but she comes with shoes. She's got her little scar and her little bolts in her neck. And she's got a little side pony going. I don't know why her hair is crusty right here. I'm a little concerned about that. Um, her bangs are like swept over. And she's got one of these little sleepy masks as well. And she's got a little lightning bolt on her shirt. And she's got like striped pants that have some plaid detailing with little lightning bolts on them. And they're like high waters. Oh, I didn't cut that stupid thing out of the back of her head. And hers uh, have little bolts on the monster faces on her, so like it's more like Frankenstein. So she's got her little Frankenstein shoes. Let's see if I can get these on any easier. So I just love the detailing on these. Let's see. So that would be this foot. There's got to be a trick to this. But I don't know. There's no give on their feet. They're like hard plastic. And I've never had Monster Highs that didn't come with shoes on before, so I've never had to put them on. Okay, there's one. And... Come on, darling. Let's get your shoes on. Right here. Sleep over. Okay. So there's her shoes. There we go. And she's just so pretty. I love her, and I don't know... Oh, that is... What is this that she comes with? I thought that gray part would open, but I couldn't figure it out. I don't know what this is. Do you guys know what this is? Comment below if you know what this is. Is it like a speaker? That's what it looks like to me, because if you look on the back, there's a little detailing that looks like a cord yeah. hanging out the back. See that? It does seem like it would open. But, I don't know. Who knows? Alright, if you know what this is, let us know. I don't know what it is. And then, of course, as Monster Highs do, she has her little brush, which is like a teal color. And I'm going to see if I can brush some of this crusty junk out of her hair. 
because that's just, I don't know what that is. It's bothering me. Okay. So here are the beautiful ladies. So they will be very cute on my shelf with my other girls that I love oh so much. I don't know. So your favorite Monster High is Frankie, huh? Or um, I think so. Yeah. Um, gosh, I don't know. I think really like my all-time original favorite was Skeleta. I really loved her, and I still do love her. She was like the one we were on the hunt for forever, and we finally found her original um, doll. I really love Laguna, and I really love Venus as well. Um. I don't know, I think out of like the core girls, I think Laguna's probably my favorite. I don't know, I really love them all. They're all just so cool and my favorite thing about Monster High Dolls is that it's all about embracing your uniqueness and celebrating your individuality and no matter what makes you different, it makes you special and not strange. You know, even like the strange things about you make you super special and unique and amazing and beautiful and that's what they stand for and I think that's really fantastic because you know, growing up, I was very much an outsider, and I was, you know, kind of, like, weird, and I didn't have a whole lot of friends, and I really wish they had something like this when I was growing up. I think that dolls like these can really help a lot of girls um, that feel different um, feel good about themselves. So, I love these, and I think that um, Mattel does a fantastic job with these. So, I hope they never go away. It's certainly a very uh, successful line that they yes come out with. and i watch the movies and the sh and, you know on netflix and i'm not ashamed they're just they're glorious and then you have a couple of other like monster highish things too like the uh uh blind bag girls you have a few of those and... mm -hmm. <clears throat> so they're just really cute i enjoy this set um, so yeah, if you guys love Monster Highs and want to see more Monster High dolls open on this channel, comment and let me know below. Also, please let me know which Monster High doll is your absolute favorite. Um, we would love to know. You so, should do one of those create your own ones on the channel one day. That would be kind of Yeah, cool. that would be fun. Um, I have to get like the different kits for them, but. I think there's, uh, there's that one too, uh, I think I spotted it when, uh, we were walking around Walmart last time. Um, it's like a a monster high doll that I think it's you, you like create the clothing or something oh, yeah. I think yeah, that's I'm cool not sure. oh yeah I know what you're talking about I think it has like markers or uh -huh. something and you make your own like design I think it's there. Frankie the one that I, can't, I saw yeah, I can't remember but yeah let us know in the comments below if you want to see us open more monster highs we'd be more than happy to and let us know who your favorite monster high is thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe we can't wait to see you again soon bye